Now I am going to spend just a couple minutes here taking up this chart just in case I don't get around to you in class or you need to hear me talk about it again. Um, how, do direct, how do we compare direct and partial variation? Um, so for direct variation that we took before, here's what the graph looks like. We have the graph and it's a straight line, I'm going to use a different color, it's a straight line that goes through 0, 0. So uh, to compare, I'm just going to point out the main things on here. This is a straight line. And it passes through 0, 0, starts at 0. goes right through this point here. Now for partial variation, let's use the same colors we have here, it's still a straight line thing. Uh, and it might be going down too. Here I'll take a different color. This could be one too. It could go down. Either one of those are partial variation. The main thing here though is that while it is still a straight line, It doesn't start at zero because it has these things called initial values. So I've got these two points on here where it does not start at zero. Okay. Doesn't start at zero. Now, here's what the equations kind of looked like. Uh, for direct variation, if I had an equation, it would have looked like this. I would have said cost equals 5n Be because there's only a multiplication relationship. So it's just a multiplication here. Only multiplication. Okay. There's nothing else there. I'll take one variable, I multiply it by a number, and I get the other variable. Now, in a partial variation relation, we have c equals 5n, but then there's something else tacked on there, plus 2. It, it might be a minus 2 as well. It could be a plus or a minus, okay, one or the other. But there's something else here. So we've got our multiplication relation. So this is multiplication but we also have an add or subtract as well. And this thing here, this is our initial value. Our starting costs, our initial value, the thing that doesn't change no matter how much we buy or, multi or, or how much we make. Now, our relationship, the biggest thing, when you look at them, there is no initial value, no beginning costs, no beginning, we're gonna, not going to use cost because sometimes uh, there's something other than cost, so no beginning value. And over here, there is a beginning value. So hopefully that's enough to give you a little idea of the difference between direct and partial variation.